in this series of episodes, we have been looking at uh, we are looking at histology. Histology is a subtopic under cell biology, taught in advanced biology for those ones who are in Uganda. Um, now, uh, taught in advanced level biology for those ones who are in Uganda. Sorry. Now, uh, in the previous episode, we were able to break down epithelial tissues in details. One of the episodes was having epithelial tissue, was having a simple epithelial tissue. Another episode, another episode was having compound epithelial tissue. Another episode, another episode was, having a, uh, was having granular epithelial tissue. Now, if you have not checked for all those tissues and you want to know more, more about them, please make sure you go and first check all those ones. There is something very interesting there. You don't need to miss out. Now, we have also been knowing, we have known from the start of this series that, uh, that uh, Tissues, when I talk about tissues, we saw from the start that tissues are categorized into animal, animal tissues and plant tissues. And we were able to learn that animal tissues are of different types. And these different types were, yeah, for those ones I know, those ones who have been now following you now know, uh, one, we have seen that we have what we call uh, epithelial tissue, Epithelial tissue, which we have finished. We have got what you call mastura tissue. Mastura tissue. We have got what you call connective. Connective tissue. Connective tissue. And then we have got what you call, we have got what you call uh, nervous tissue. Nervous tissue. And we have also what you call reproductive tissue. Reproductive tissue. Now, in this episode, we are going to look at, we are going to expound more on the connective tissue. Now, when you talk about connective tissue, what comes to your mind? Connective tissue is a, is a tissue that is made up of cells whose work majorly is to, you know, fill up spaces. For example, when you look at the, uh, your skin, after your skin, if you have ever seen people who, are, who slaughter cows, after the skin, the next thing you have muscles. But before you reach the muscles, you see now the skin is a different tissue. The muscles is a different tissue. The muscles now is a muscular tissue. The skin is a epithelial tissue. Now we are saying, in between there, there should be something that is joining up, that is linking, that, that links up all these tissues together. And now that's why we shall find the word, the connective tissue. So connective tissue is there to ensure that it fills up spaces. It ensures that it, it occupies in almost, this one here, we're going to find it almost in every, all parts of the body. And something special about connective tissue that you need to know right away from the start is that all connective tissues, something unique they have is that they have what we call a ground substance. These ones have a ground substance. What that, that ground substance, we shall call, we, we shall call it what? We shall call it a matrix. Hey, I know this matrix should not be a new one. It's called matrix. The matrix is a ground substance, like a liquid. Now within this matrix, you find there, we, it is within this matrix where you find very many cells and what? and fibers being what? Being embedded. So if you can forget any other thing about connective tissues, just remember that all connective tissue, wherever, wherever they are, they are these tissues which contain a liquid kind of substance, or what you call a ground substance, what you call a matrix, within which where you, within where, where, uh, within where you find different cells and different fibers entangled together. And therefore, in this episode, we are going to, we are going to break down all these ones together. Now, allow us going to directly that. Yeah, now, connective tissues, if we are to break them further, we are saying they are, they are broken down into two major categories. What are those two major categories? Those two major categories are, we have what we call connective, connective tissue proper. Yeah, someone might say, why don't you just say proper connective tissue, it's, it is still okay. Yeah, so we have what you call Connective tissue proper, like the real connective tissues. Then somebody might say, now, what's the other one? The other one is also connective tissues. So we have what we call connective tissue proper, and we have also got what we call, we have got what we call special, special connective, special connective tissues. Yeah, they are special in a way that we are going to see. Now, if I'm to break these ones, the connective tissue proper or the uh, the proper connective tissues. Here, these ones here are broken down into two. 
into two major categories. What are those categories? One, we have what we call loose. Loose connective. Loose connective tissue. You can add the word proper. Loose connective tissue, we have also what we call the dense. The dense connective. Connective tissue. Yeah, you can add the word proper. Or you can just simply say dense connective tissue and loose connective tissue. Now, what's the difference between these two? I have told that the connective tissue is made up of uh, a matrix, and in this matrix, you find there are cells and then fibers. Now, as we are going to continue seeing, we are going to say that one of these fibers, we have got majorly two categories, though we have other types of fibers. By these categories, we have what we call uh, collagen fibers and then elastic fibers. Now, we are saying that. Uh, why we call this one dense is because uh, in this tissue we have got a lot of collagen fibers. And collagen fibers, something that you need to know about collagen fibers is that whenever they are, wherever they are, they, they, are all, they, they always provide a lot of strength. They are stronger, they provide the tensile strength. So they make that area to become somehow stronger. That's why the tissues where most of those collagen fibers are, we call it the dense connective tissue. It is strong, it is kind of tough, stronger. And then we have what we call the loose connective tissue. It means now in this case, we have less of the collagen fibers and we have more of other fibers like elastic fibers. I hope you have got me the difference between these two. If you have not yet, please again re rewind a bit. Now we are saying, now the dense connective tissue here, we can, we are, they are categorized into two. And what are those two? The dense connective tissues, those ones which are somehow strong, those ones which are somehow strong, can be into these two. What are they? We have what we call the, the dense but regular connective tissue. And then we have also got what we call dense, dense connective tissue but irregular. Irregular connective, connective tissue. Somebody might say, what's the difference? Still, the difference is very simple. Here in regular, it means in this, case, in this kind of tissue, the, the fibers are organized here. The fibers are organized in a given order. Hmm? Here, the, there is uniform, uh, the, the, the fibers, here in this case we are saying, the fibers face in a given what? In a given, in a given direction. In a given direction. Or you can say, the fibers are oriented in a, in a uniform direction, they face in one direction. Or the way their fibers are organized, they face in one direction. But in this case here, unlike the, unless in the, in the irregular, in the irregular here, the fibers, the collagen fibers which are found here, uh, are oriented, are oriented, are oriented, are oriented in what? In different, in different directions. In different directions. In different directions. Here the fibers look in different directions. So that's why we, we say it is irregular. And the, uh, an example I can give you, for example, under the, uh, uh, <coughs> we can have different examples. Some of the examples that I can give you under, under dense connective tissue, we have got the likes of, uh, like for example, in ligaments, in ligaments and tendons. Ligaments and tendons, you find there such kind of, uh, you find there such kind of uh, dense, uh, such kind of connective tissue in ligaments and tendons. And then for the case of, uh, for the case of the dense irregular, we have, remember I've said here the fibers are oriented in different directions. Here, the examples we have, you find these ones, for example, in nerves. You find there in nerves, you find there, you find them in the kidneys, and so on and so forth, and very many other examples, and very many other areas. Now, when we come to the loose connective tissue, in the loose connective tissue, we have I've already told you that here, these ones have a lot of collagen fibers which are stronger, which make them to be stronger. But now these ones here have less of the collagen fibers, they have more of elastic fibers. Hope you can hear the word even, elastic. It means these ones are kind of, you know, loose, like the word loose. So here, we are saying in this case of connective tissue, we have got three major categories, three major subdivisions. What are they? These subdivisions are here. One is what we call areola. We have got to call the are, are, areola, Connective tissue, or you can just simply call it areola tissue. We have got to call areola tissue. And then we have got what we call adipose. Adipose tissue. 
adipose tissue, and then we have also got what you call reticular. Reticular, reticular tissue. We have got to call it reticular tissue. Yeah. So, here, of all these tissues here, the simplest, or the simplest form, or the simplest version of connective tissue is what you call the area tissue. So this area tissue is actually called the, the simplest form. Hmm? The simplest form of the connective tissue. The simplest form of connective tissue is what we are referring to as the areola tissue. This is now the areola one. Now, when you come to adipose, I know you, have, you could have heard about adipose tissue. This adipose tissue is a tissue which is majorly made up of what? Made up of, made up, made up of majorly fats. So here, in this case, you find, remember we have said the connective tissue has got different, has got a matrix, and in this matrix, or in this liquid, you find there cells and fibers. Now, we are saying in this case, in the tissue which is known as adipose tissue, which is a loose connective tissue, here you find the matrix, yes. You also find fibers, yes. But the, a key cell which is present in such kind of tissues is what you call fat cells. So it means these are tissues which have got a lot of fat cells. And when you talk about, for example, examples here, adipose tissue, you know, you have got a lot of adipose tissue. Uh, this one here, the location. We have got such in the what? In the skin, or you can call, you can call it below the skin. You know, at below the skin, you have got a layer which is called the subcutaneous fat mm -hmm. layer. This is the anadipose tissue. And in case even fats when they become too many in your body, more of them get deposited there where they do, where they do a work of insulation of your body, where they insulate your body against heat loss. So we have broader skin, we have what with that fat layer, broader skin for insulation. We also have uh, we also have a lot of adipose tissue in the buttocks. The, the buttocks have got a lot of fats. So much fats are also stored within uh, stored within the buttocks. So within the buttocks, you also have a lot of adipose tissue there. So it, so it means something special about adipose tissue is that here the cells which are more within that tissue are what we call fat cells. So that is special, that is what, that's what is special about adipose tissue. And, and, and the, among these adipose tissue, we have also got what we call brown fats. It has, can also be, we have got what we call brown fats. We have got what we call brown fats and we have got what we call white fats. Hey, white fats and brown fats. Yeah, you can, I request that you, you try to read more about uh, these, two, these two types of fats. What's the difference between brown fats and white fats? Please try to uh, read, do some reading about that. Now, when we come to reticular, reticular tissue, uh, we have also got, apart from, remember I've told you about uh, collagen fibers and elastic fibers. Now, we have also got a special kind of collagen fibers, a special kind of collagen fibers, which is much, or you know, this one is much of uh, interconnected. It has a lot of, you know, it, has, it forms kind of like a mesh. Hmm? It has a lot of, you know, it forms a lot of, kind of a mesh, like network. And this type, this special type of connective tissue, we call, I mean, this type of collagen tissue, collagen fiber, we call it reticular tissue. So in, I mean, we call it reticular fibers, sorry. So in a tissue, sorry, in a tissue where you have the ground substance, the matrix, and this matrix, you have there different cells, but when one of the fibers that is more pronounced, that is much compared to the rest of the fibers, is reticular fibers, then that one makes that tissue to become reticular tissue. So a reticular tissue is that tissue that contains, that consists of, of many, of many reticular what? Of many reticular fibers. Fibers which you call reticular fibers. I have told that the reticular fibers are fibers, is a special type of collagen tissue that kind of, that forms a lot of a much like network. Yeah, a mesh network of fibers. It forms, it is like in form of a network. That's why you call it reticular. Mind you, I know some of you could have heard about that, you know, in terms of leaf venation, we have what we call pyro and then network. But uh, we have also got a type of, of, of leaf venation which is called the reticular or reticulate. So in that kind, we find that the veins are in fact such kind of a mesh like network. So in case fibers form this kind of network, we call them reticular fibers. And that is a special type of collagen, collagen fibers, which are strong and, you know. So, that is it. And here we find, for example, this one here, we find it in areas like what? Areas like the spleen. Areas like the spleen, you know, we find there such kind of, uh, such kind of, we also have areas like the lymph nodes. Hmm? Lymph nodes, we also find there such kind of uh, tissues and so on and so forth. Now, 
when it comes to the special connective tissue, the special connective tissue, there are three. But somebody can even say that there are two. Now, why am I saying there are three? This is it. The simple connective tissue here, we have these following. One, we have got to call a bone. Another one, we have got to call cartilage. And another one, we have got to call blood. Did you know that blood is a tissue, by the way? Yeah, blood is a tissue and it's a connective tissue. Why? Remember, I've told you, I'm repeating again this, that a connective tissue is that tissue which contains a ground substance. And this ground substance, so within this matrix, we find there cells and fibers. So within blood, we have a matrix, which is called blood plasma. Uh -huh. And then in, the, in blood, we find there cells, white blood cells, red blood cells, and so on. Now someone might say, do you have, do you have fibers? Yeah, we have fibers, but these fibers can be in form of, for example, uh, in, in form of sort of proteins. You know fibrinogen can be turned into fibrin when, when somebody gets, when there, is a, when there is a damage on the tissues, which forms a clot. You know, so those are, those are more or less of fibers. So in this case, we are saying blood is a tissue, but it's a special kind of a tissue. So that's why we are calling it, we are, we are also putting it here. So under special connective tissue, we have blood, we have cartilage, we have bone. And these two, these two here, these two here can also be referred to as skeletal what? We can also call them skeletal. We can also refer to them as skeletal tissues. Of course, some of you might not be aware of what is a cartilage, but a cartilage, Especially in uh, in organisms which when the when organs are still in a mother's womb, for example, when mammals are still in a mother's womb, they don't have what they don't have bones. What they have is cartilage. Then, as they grow up, as you grow up, when you are born and then you grow up, then the cartilage becomes replaced with what with bone, which we are also going to a process we are going to look at when in the next episode that you need to watch out for. So, in simple terms, this is the breakdown. In simple terms, this is the breakdown of connective tissues, like the way you see them here. We are saying connective tissue is divided into two. We have simple connective tissue and special connective tissue. We are saying the, 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 the I mean, we have got connective tissue proper and then special connective tissue. We are saying the proper connective tissue is how we have got dense and loose. The difference here we have said, here we have got more collagen fibers, here we have got, we have less collagen fibers and more elastic fibers. That's what makes this one to become loose. That's what makes one to become stronger. We have said the dense is having dense regular and dense irregular, depending on how the fibers are oriented. In that, we have said that in the dense, the fibers are, are, are oriented in one direction. Like, for example, in ligaments and tendons here, the, the, the fibers are oriented in different, the collagen fibers are oriented in different directions. For example, in the nerves and the kidneys and so on. Likewise, we have said the loose connective tissue, we have got the areola, which is the simplest form, we have got the adipose tissue, we have got the titular tissue, and so on. Now, we are saying that we are saying that we have talked about all these ones, like whatever you have seen. Now, we have said also the special, we have got the bone, we have got cartilage, we have got blood. Bone and cartilage, which are called the skeletal, which we can also refer to them as skeletal tissue. Now, this is a simple summary of all connective tissue. So when you know all this, then you have known everything, or all, all the whole summary about connective tissue. Now, in the next episode, we are going to expound more on the areola tissue. Please watch out for that video. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe.